What's up YouTube? This is John back with another episode of Engineering Awesome and today I want to show you guys what an airbrushed gun coat finish looks like on a slide. Let's take a closer look at it. What I really like about this KG gun coat is that anybody can do it. If you're interested in doing your own gun slide, all you have to do is go to Brownells and buy an aerosol can of it. Now, if you want to get a little bit more into it, you can go to their website and buy whatever color you want, and they have got a ton of colors. But you buy the color that you want, and then I picked up a small airbrush specifically for this project. And that's all it really took. Now, you can go a little bit further into it, and they definitely recommend that you do blast your, uh, your slide to make sure that it adheres the best, but honestly, anybody can do this. My last slide, I used the Brownell spray can, and I did some uh, a media tumble, basically, with ceramic pieces that I got from Harbor Freight, and that slide turned out really great. Now, one thing about airbrushing versus using a spray can is that the airbrush you can get the thin coat that they recommend versus getting a much thicker coat. Now that surface ended up being a lot smoother than this one but they both still turned out great. So let's talk about how I feel about uh, the spray can versus the airbrush. Which one turned out better? Which one's easiest to do? Honestly I found that the airbrush was easier to do but this time I had a bit more equipment than I did last time. I went ahead and purchased this blasting cabinet and then I also purchased this which was only like 20 bucks and the KG gun coat wasn't really all that expensive either I think maybe it's 20 bucks so I'll, I'll go ahead and throw some links up in case you guys are interested in purchasing this and that stuff goes forever but to prep this I blasted it and then I degreased it just like the instructions say that you need to do. Uh, it took me a lot longer to prep it but prep is key with this stuff and you definitely need to make sure that you check your oven temperature. I've got a small toaster oven and what I did with that was I got a, a temperature sensor like a, just a thermostat put it in there and a, sorry a thermometer put it in there heated it up before I ever put this in there you'll notice that the gauges are not correct on the side. You can turn it to like 250 on mine and it hits 325. That's about where I ended up uh, leaving it. So I then heat this up for just a few minutes, pull it back out, use my very handy little uh, jig here that I made that fits into the firing pin channel. And this allows me to manipulate the slide without ever touching it after I've started painting. So after I've heated, after you heat it up for a little bit, a couple minutes, sorry, not a little bit, do not heat it to the full temperature. Then you just spray a light coat on it, which I found to be much, much easier with the airbrush. Okay, so the airbrush allowed me to get very fine, light mistings on it, which is exactly what they recommend. And then after you've brushed it, you can put it in the oven let it heat up for I think 10 minutes or so then pull it back out and you can keep doing your light coats over it. That's the best way that I found to do it. Now one thing I ran into that I with the airbrush that I did not with the aerosol can is that I got really fine dusting of the uh, KG gun coat. Now that didn't end up really mattering a whole lot but the first time I saw it it freaked me out so I ended up baking it and then blasting the finish right off. Now, if you do mess up this stuff, I, I still have probably enough to do three or four slides with just this four ounce bottle. I didn't realize it would go quite as far as it does. So you've got room for error. You don't need to worry about it too much. So how are the results? The results with the airbrush are more of what I was looking for out of the gun coat to begin with. It's a real light matte uh, finish. It's non-reflective but there's a small caveat to this uh, probably because I'm terrible at uh, finishing uh, I can't do any kind of painting really I've, I've discovered but this is basically a micro porous finish I discovered um, 
I set it on my kitchen table, took a picture of it, picked it back up, and there's an oil stain on it. I don't know where the oil came from, probably one of my projects I left on the kitchen table. But the way that I got around that was I actually uh, took the whole thing and coated it in CLP. And it got almost a perfect color match. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier with the color match, honestly. But I think that it will hold dirt. Uh, it's got some on it now. I haven't even tried cleaning it from the last time I shot it. I think it's probably going to end up being exactly what I wanted. It'll give me that kind of worn look to it, but that may not be what you're interested in. The matte black spray can that I got from Brownells and sprayed the slide with, it turned out okay, but it went on too thick and wasn't matte black. So if you definitely got to have something that's, that's matte finish, I think that the uh, airbrush is definitely the way to go. If you're really just looking for a robust uh, solution for finishing your own gun slide, then really either one is the way to go. It's going to be way more expensive to do the airbrush, but it is in, it ends up being worth it for sure. So that's kind of my take on it. In the future, I think I'll definitely stick with airbrushing. I got this four ounce can of it or bottle, which does come with a shaker. And then I actually got an eight ounce, not knowing how far it would go. And uh, it's gonna last me forever. So that's my take on it. If you guys uh, have other ideas or thoughts, or if you've used it before and had different results, make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think. If you guys liked this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed the content of this video, make sure that you do consider subscribing. I'm gonna have a lot more uh, DIY stuff I'm working on a plasma cutter right now, a CNC plasma cutter, uh, and there will be more gun content, but probably more towards the uh, like the plasma and the, the machine building side of things. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Engineering Awesome.